Hey folks, yeah, my nice shady spot by the river here. It's nice and cozy. <laughs> it's kind of unusual. The grass has grown in so much now, but it's it's unusual because I'm on the the celebrity here and I'm sitting down farther. And I'm up higher on the monster. I can see over the grass. But I just feel like I'm surrounded by grass here. Well, a cozy spot. It's got a nice view. I'm happy. <laughs> so I've been wanting to make this video for a while. I've been waiting for a, a day with no breeze, but it's just not happening. So today's not too bad. Oh yeah, I say that and here it comes. <laughs> but it's not too bad and it's just like right here I'm not really feeling much it's just the odd the odd gust that'll come through like it just happened now <laughs> wait for it to stop I guess it's not gonna stop it's a nice breeze though I like it it's just interfering <laughs> Okay, see if I can block it. <laughs> so I think it was the last video I was talking about the dust spots on the lens here. And I was all cleaned off, I couldn't see anything at all. And that video was worse. I was like, what the heck? As I look at it, I cannot see anything. There's, there's no dust whatsoever on this lens. I get bits of grass all over my glasses here. I gotta clean them. I can, I can actually see that when I'm looking out. <laughs> But, I got looking at the lens here, it, it's not dust, it's smudges. I said, I cannot, I tried, I cannot clean it off. So, I guess I'm going to ask you people, if you have any idea how I can properly clean a recessed lens. Because I, I can't get any kind of cloth in there, like what I do is I, I spray it with my, my lens cleaner and then I stick a Kleenex in there and I just kind of twist it around. I can't clean it. It won't come clean. I don't know what to do about that. It's not a big deal. Like, right, sitting right here right now, if I'm not moving, you can't see it. But if the sun reflects off of it, or if I get some kind of light on it, you know, it's it's obvious. It shows up really bad. And I don't like that. But I don't know, I don't know how to clean it. <clears throat> I bought a, uh, they call it a lens pen. I won't get it till at least Friday, but it's 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 kind of a, a cleaning pad on the end of what looks like a pen that you can get in. But other than that, I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. It's kind of frustrating. If I, if, if I could take this ring off the front of it and I get access to it, it wouldn't be an issue. But well, <laughs> it won't come apart. I don't know if it's glued on or if it's snapped in place, but it, it won't come off, so yeah, I'm not gonna take a chance on breaking everything just to clean the lens off. It's just annoying. But I don't know how to fix that. So I called the called my dealer <clears throat> just before I come out today. Because I still haven't heard anything about the monster's parts. He's still waiting to hear from ODSP. ODSP keeps keeps changing workers around and he asked me if you know if I'm one that keeps getting new workers I said yeah <laughs> it seems like every six months I'm getting a new worker and he says this is causing an issue so he thinks the reason they do that is so people don't get I guess emotionally involved with their clients I can see that but it causes an issue because the new worker doesn't know people. And I had to, I think I talked about that before. The last time I got parts for the monster, like, they asked why I was getting parts from Barry and all this. Did you move to Barry? And I was like, no. <laughs> and then they asked why I needed a scooter and all this. And like, she knew absolutely nothing about me. I had to explain my situation. And it was, it was annoying. But... That's why he thinks they change them, just so people don't get emotionally involved. But, I guess there's good and bad in it, right? <laughs> and the other day I was sitting down at the, 
<clears throat> at the boat launch, and I noticed a, a third flag over at West Cass. So I guess it's official. They're flying a Chinese flag now. So they got a Canada flag, they got a U.S. flag, and they got a China Chinese flag. Like, oh, wonderful! <laughs> so I see a lot of companies. You know, if it's a U.S. company in Canada, or or if they're like multinational or whatever then you know it's common to see a Canada flag and a US flag but I don't know something about seeing a Chinese flag flying in, in Canada just just something just seems wrong about that you know, I I suppose it's not any different than flying a US flag right you know but I don't know it just something about it I don't like just don't like it so, I guess they're just kind of, you know, making the point, hey, we're run by China now, right? <laughs> but there are people still working there, they're just, they're not doing the, the casting part, that, that part's been moved to China, apparently for three years, I don't know why, you know, it's a temporary thing, if you're going to do it, you know, is it really going to come back? I guess we'll see, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Well, how's that saying go? I heard a while ago. I thought that I thought it was really good. Progress means change, but change doesn't necessarily mean progress. <laughs> Does that apply here? I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> um, I remember last year I went to the fish fry that the fire department had. It's a fundraiser for the fireworks. Yeah, and I'd mentioned how long the line was. That was crazy. <clears throat> well, I'm not sure if I talked about this. I looked through um, recent videos. I don't see anything, so I don't re remember if I even talked about it or not. So I went a little earlier this year. Yeah, and I, this is back in April, so... <laughs> it's been a little while. I went a little earlier this year, and when I got there, the line was at the door. That, that was it. So, uh, yeah, from the door all the way up to the tables where they're serving the food. So, I had to wait quite as long this time. I think probably about half hour, that was about it. It wasn't crazy like last year. So, I guess the key is to get there early, right? <laughs> but I know I was going to talk about it. I don't know if I ever got to it or not. So, I found something about the celebrity I don't like. It's not a design issue or anything, it, it's just, it's old, it's worn out. So, I grab my copy here so I don't spill it all over the place. So, the tiller's loose. I mentioned that before. And when I adjust it, as the, the cylinder's worn out, like the adjustment cylinder thingy, pull the lever to move it and then locks in place. Well, it doesn't really lock all that well. It's worn out. It actually moves a little bit. But if I start hitting a whole bunch of bumps, the tiller will come down on my legs. So <laughs> it just kind of adjusts itself. And then I got to put it back where it was. I, I use my mirror to, to get it back. Right? As soon as I can see behind me, okay, that's where it was. But if I pull on it, it'll it'll move. It'll, it'll adjust itself. So it doesn't lock very well. So... If I if I hit a bunch of, bunch of bumps now, I just kind of hold it, push it upwards, so it doesn't come down on me. But, no. Parts wear out, right? That's what happened. So I'm kind of stuck with this for a while. Monster's officially off the road now. I have a second flat tire, back one this time. I can change that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to wait till everything else is is going. Uh, I I really want to get the front end done first before I do anything else. So. I don't want to start worrying about that. But I want my parts. So my health's getting better now. Um, I think I think I'm finally caught up on cutting the grass. <laughs> it's, it's been so crazy. Um, we got so much rain, the grass just won't stop. So I go as long as my battery goes. It takes two rounds, sometimes three rounds in the backyard, and then two rounds out front, 
by the time I'm done, it's time to start over at the back again. It's, it's, it's just insane how fast everything's growing. But, out yesterday, out front, it was, the front's turned, and it, it actually wasn't too bad. It, it's not, it's, it's not growing like crazy like the back is. And I actually managed to get the entire front done with one, one round of the battery. So, that gives me a little bit of extra time now, so hopefully I can get something done in the garage. I want to start today. I gotta clean up so I can put the monster where it's gonna be. So I can start taking parts off it and start doing something with it. If I, I haven't done it yet because there just isn't room to, to put it where it needs to be at the moment. I got a box of parts and I think something else where the seat's gonna be once I take it off. It's kind of temporary permanent location. I can't put it there yet because there's other stuff I gotta find a place for. It's like, <laughs> But I just haven't had the desire to do anything. But feeling better now. I don't know if it's because of the weather. It's been it's been so nice. And it looks like uh, I remember I talked about 1991 being a, an El Nino or La Nina, whichever one it was. One of those years, it got hot in May and it stayed hot all summer. Oh. Hasn't been super hot this May. Uh, there were a couple of days. Or I went shirtless, it was nice, but, you know, we, we haven't had a super summer like we had the last couple of years in May. And then it cools off until at least midsummer and then starts warming up again into the fall. <laughs> uh, it hasn't been super hot like that, but I saw uh, uh, a video, well actually I think it was yesterday, and it was summer forecast yeah I think it was the summer forecast they did all of Canada the different provinces what we can expect and it looks like it's going to be a hot summer there's going to be a heat dome over the US and it's gonna include part well not parts of southern Ontario parts of Ontario southern Ontario is included in that now the question is they don't know exactly where the boundary is gonna be if it's below us, then it's going to bring all the storms through to us, because we're kind of, if you can imagine, this giant circle rotating. We're right on the top edge, so it's going to bring all the storms to us. If it's farther north, then all the storms will go north of us, and we'll get all the heat as well. I can deal with that. So it's possible this could be another 1991. That would be nice. <laughs> I love that year. I would love to have another year like that. that's all I got to talk about. So I'm out a little earlier today. Um, my sleeping kind of got messed up the other day. I, I woke up and the power was off. So I restarted my computer, got everything set up, went back to bed. And then I woke up again with the smoke detector going off in the basement. Same one as before. No reason for it. I, I, I'm just wondering if it's the moisture down there that's getting to it. It doesn't like the moisture, I don't know. So, I got back to sleep, and then the fire department got a call. And <laughs> so, I just kind of, the rest of the day, I, I slept like three more times. I just, I just felt like I never got any sleep at all. It was crazy. So, that kind of messed me up. I, I've been coming out late the last little while. Today I woke up at 7 in the morning, I have no idea why. Back to bed and then I woke up at 10 again with the dogs barking outside and I've been up since. So I'm out early today. And I just, yeah, I'm liking the fresh air. I like this spot. I, you know, I, I'm glad I cut that tree. Because I, if I can't get here, this is my favorite spot to sit now. It's peaceful. And there's there's generally nobody here. It's it's just nice. I like it. So I guess that's all I got to talk about. Um, I can't really finish the bumper. I got thinking about it. I can't finish the bumper until I take the bumper off the monster. What's left of it? Because I gotta get the I gotta uh, the part that actually attaches to the monster. It's got the two parts, two little bars that come out. Did attach to the actual bumper, and I, I want to get that angle right, the bumper angle. 
So I have to take it off and match it up with the old piece I took off. I couldn't do that while I was driving the monster. Now that I'm not driving it. But the problem is I used the bumper to lift the front of the monster up. And that's not on there now. <laughs> I'm not sure how to lift it yet. <laughs> I'll find a way. I'll stick the jack under it and just kind of lift it up as far as I can until I can grab something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I, I can't, I can't, well, I guess I can, I can weld that piece on, but, I don't know. Yeah, I'll figure it out, but, for now, I'm starting to get the urge to do something, so, that's good. And hopefully I'll get something done. I, I want to get the monster back on the road so bad. <laughs> I guess that's all I got to talk about. I can't think of anything else. And I'm going to start rambling if I start, you know, coming up with random topics. So, I guess that's uh, my update for today.